Anne is a girl who lives completely in a fantasy world because she's had a horrendous life and in a way to escape that life she just lives in fantasy and so everything is more magical and more wonderful and more spectacular and so she comes to our rather shabby little farmhouse that is in desperate need of a paint job and she thinks it's the most beautiful thing she's ever seen in her life. It's exactly as I imagined it. She's been an orphan her whole life and now she's being sent to Green Gables and they actually wanted a boy but they decide that they can keep her for a couple months and she's just having the best time. She's actually making friends. She's never had friends before. She's going to school. She's going to church. This is the most tragical thing that has ever happened to me. Well, uh, God, child, we're not gonna turn you out of doors tonight here. The color of her hair is an indication that this child is on fire and uh, she ignites everyone that she touches. I love being a redhead. I'm normally a brunette, so having red hair, it's a totally different experience. Brilla. What does it mean? I believe it's short for Amaryllis. Oh, that's such a beautiful name. Your mother and father must have loved you very much. You know, Anne is one of the great characters of literature because like all of the great characters in great literature she's the the one that no one expects anything from and we all want the underdog to succeed listen miss ann with an e my sister's a very determined woman and nobody gets the best of her so if i were you i'd smooth over what's between you and the sooner the better apologize yes what say you? I suppose I could do it to oblige you. He has that kindred spirit. He has that nice soul. And so they really get along when they first meet and they're in the carriage and they're riding up to Green Gables. Marilla's very proper and knows exactly what to do and she's very strict and straight. And Anne is just in the moment, and she's enjoying everything as it goes. Let's pretend. I mean, together. Pretend what? Anything you'd like. Do you want to see my secret island? Why is it a secret? Fairies live there. Really? But you have to be very quiet, or you'll scare them off. Diana is Anne's best friend, and she comes from a wealthy family, and they cross paths when Diana finds Anne, and Marilla comes over to visit, and they go off and play, and Anne finds out that Diana is imaginative just like her, because Anne's very imaginative and creative, and they become really good friends. That's right. Ding dong. Well, hello there, Garrett. That's very good. How dare you? Gilbert would like to pull someone's pigtails just because he's that kind of guy who teases the girls. He'd pull Anne's hair just to get her attention. Anne is the girl for Gilbert. He's the only girl that doesn't like him, right? And I think he likes that adventure too. Anne Shirley in the book, she's really an aspirational character for females, I think. She was back then, and that's why I think the books were so popular and really nothing's changed today I think girls are looking for good role models in film and television and they're attracted to people that have imagination it's such an enduring lovely story right we just fall in love with this character because she's so spunky and and feisty and I think it's the relationships that you know, kind of live on. It crosses all boundaries of time and place. I don't believe that if Anne were living today, her character would really be any different than what she was back in, in the last century. Mm -hmm.